Yeah, this came too late. Back in 2019, Christ, I'm getting old. I made a little guide on how to install and run Fate Stay Night Real Tanua in English with a number of methods to do so. The basic way, the better way, and the quote-unquote best way, as it was considered at the time. Suffice to say, that guide has both aged well and aged like my YouTube channel simultaneously in the interim since then and now. There are a number of notable differences nowadays. For one, the basic way of running Real Tanua is no longer an option, as the download for the base translation patch is unavailable now, which leaves only the better way and the best way. Except, here's the thing. The best way, aka the ultimate edition method, seems to cause more problems for some, if not most people, than not. At least, it did back then. Over time, I've had quite a few people actually come to me on Twitter needing help installing Ultimate Edition, and yeah, it turns out Ultimate Edition had quite a few problems in of itself. There is a common, if not an inevitable issue where if you try to install Ultimate Edition, at least the version of it back then, it'll automatically try to download all the necessary patches you need or want, but they actually won't download properly. For whatever reason, the mod files turn out to be 3 kilobytes instead of, you know, being bigger than 3 kilobytes. And when you try to run the novel, it leads to an error instead. Not sure why this happens, it could be that the host server with the patches is either down or corrupted or... something. In fact, that version of Ultimate Edition does seem to have issues even beyond this, but since this is a follow-up video on how to run the thing at all, I'll just stick to that topic. I recommend watching it before continuing, actually, especially when it comes to Ultimate Edition as of the time that video was made, since some of the steps from it will be relevant here. Turns out, in the time since the original video, Ultimate Edition has received updates and the version listed is now outdated. I will link the new thread about the current version of Ultimate Edition dated December 13th of last year, and there you'll find two methods. One for a new install and one for updating from an old one. As this is intended for people who are new to Fate Stay Night and want to experience the novel for the first time, I'm going to stick with the former for this video. Check the description for the updated Beast Slayer thread for Ultimate Edition, and it'll link you to a mega listing featuring the installer and all of the patches. Download it as a zip file. Once you've downloaded the zip file, open it and extract the folder anywhere on your computer. Go into it and run the installer. If you have an antivirus software and it says it's a virus, trust me, it isn't. Word of warning though. Do not install to your program files folder on the C drive. It defaults to it and it doesn't work for the install as the C drive program files folder is meant for programs with elevated privileges, something Ultimate Edition doesn't. Trying to run it in this case will only lead to errors and headaches. You will instead want to install to a different location on your computer, which, in my case, is a new folder I made on my D drive. After subverting that potential roadblock, the installation will go about the same as the old version of the Ultimate Edition installer by asking you to link all three source folders of Real Tanua before continuing on and merging all of them into a single package with all the patches you could ever want or need automatically. Only this time, it should actually work. Launching should lead to Ultimate Edition asking where you want your save folder to go. Either choose a location on your computer manually or click Cancel, where it'll default to having the save data folder be located in the installation folder itself. In my case, I chose my documents folder. Everything should be golden if the novel starts like normal, and congrats! You finally have Ultimate Edition running like a dream with all the bells and whistles. Easy, right? Totally no problems will arise from this. But in all seriousness, as I said in my original video, it sucks there's no official means of running the novel as of now. And while the announcement of Mao Tsukai no Yoru getting a console port with an official English translation in tow gives one hope, 
I doubt this will change things as far as Stay Night is concerned. More people should read Stay Night, and an official release could really help that, or better yet, its sequel, Fate Hollow Ataraxia. Yeah, I'm finally going there. Fate Hollow Ataraxia is... interesting being that it's both a sequel and a spin-off all in one, with time loops and humorous gags and slice of life all in between a plot that is, as of my own progress, uh, I'm well, I'm not entirely sure where it's going. But alas, this isn't a review of Hollow Ataraxia, in no small part because I haven't finished it. So without going further into it, and since I bothered to make an actual video at all, I guess it's finally time I tackled how to run it. First off, acquire a copy or download of Fate Hollow Ataraxia. I will not show you where to find a download of Fate Hollow Ataraxia. Some people had an issue with me being vague about acquiring Stay Night in the old video, and I guess I should address this by saying that I shouldn't be advocating for piracy, even though piracy is how most people read the novel anyway. This applied then, and this applies now. You'll have to do your own digging to acquire an unpatched version of Fate Hollow Ataraxia. I will not help you on an official basis, but then again, I do happen to own a physical copy... Yeah, I'm really sorry about this, guys. However, once you do find the means of acquiring it and it's on your computer, things should be more straightforward than Ultimate Edition. Follow the link in the description for a Beast Slayer thread for the English translation, click the link in it that leads to a Mediafire posting, and download the patch. Once it's downloaded, installing it is as easy as moving the file to your Hollow Ataraxia folder, and BAM! You did it, hero! In fact, any patches and mods for Hollow Ataraxia follow this drag and drop formula. So I'll even throw in extras like the voice mod, which, you guessed it, adds voice acting to the novel. <laughs> and even this nifty uncensor mod if you really need to fap that hard. Come on, you know you want to. And yeah, that's about all there is to it really. It's a pain in the ass to get anything Stay Night related running at all, huh? But with enough perseverance and elbow grease, it should all be worth it in the end. Right?